What's going on? It's Kev Obato, and I'm back with another Botticera video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a desktop mode to your Botticera machine. And guess what? It even works for Raspberry Pis. So I'm going to show you a sneak peek, and then I'm going to get into the steps on how to install the BUA. And then from there, you install desktop mode, and it turns your Botticera machine into a completely different monster. You know me. Let's not waste any time, and let's get right into the video so here it is and I'm sure you want to do it so let's go ahead and do it <laughs> make sure your machine is connected to the internet all right just to do it just check it never hurts to check my machine does crazy stuff all the time just check and make sure you connect to the internet after that go ahead and press F1 to go into the file manager and then you're gonna go up to applications and you're gonna open X term now, if you already have the BUA, whoa, that's a white screen. If you already have the BUA, you can skip this. The timestamps in the description will take you where you need to be. But if you don't have the BUA, then you need to type the command that I leave on the screen now. It's that simple. You type it in, and if you need any help, join the Discord, link in the description, and somebody will help you out. Go ahead and install this. This is going to install the BUA. All the BUA is, is something that the Notorious Fox, super hard worker, he's been working on this add-on that allows us to add applications and other services that normally couldn't be added to Botticera. It's like he's playing God with Botticera, kinda. <laughs> or like a mad scientist changing shit around. Once your BUA install is done, you can type exit and click enter and it'll close the terminal for you. Now you have the BUA installed and we can get into the next steps. We can go ahead and open the BUA right here from the file manager. So once you go ahead and open it, wait for it to load up. All right, now that we're in the BUA, we're gonna head down to system utilities, and then we're gonna head down to desktop. Now you're just gonna install this. It's gonna go through a bunch of stuff. Now this can be up to two gigabytes, depending on the options that you choose coming up soon in the video. So just keep that in mind. It's not a big deal to me to, you know, two gigabytes out of a 500 gig drive, but it might be a big deal to you. So just keep that in mind. Some options are going to pop up and it's going to give you five different options for the desktop environment. Here it is. So you've got Alpine, Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, and Debian. Now for whichever one you want, you just type the number. So I'm going to choose Alpine. So I'm gonna click one, it's really that simple. Now with Alpine specifically, a warning message is gonna come up. I don't have an NVIDIA GPU, so it doesn't matter. Now, the next question is, what desktop environment do you want? I'm gonna choose Plasma, so two for KDE. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna proceed? Type Y, and you click enter. And now it's gonna download everything it needs to download. Depending on your internet connection, this could take a long time, this could be a short time. I'll fast forward through it so you don't have to wait. And once this is done, we'll be able to go and access our new desktop mode on Botticera. Once the desktop install is complete, you'll be back on a screen like this. You can go ahead and click return. And from there, we can go ahead and exit out of the BUA and head back to the Botticera main screen. Now I'm gonna go up to file and I'm gonna close window. It's gonna do its own games list refresh so that's great you don't have to worry about it you can head over to ports and you're gonna have this brand new fancy pants Botticera desktop hey I worked hard on this I put in a lot of work a lot of extra work that should not have needed to be put in because this was really something that should have been pretty easy and I just made it something that was difficult and then I brought the notorious fox into it and he made it something that was even more difficult so it was just it was fun, but here it is in all its glory. This is just your desktop mode for Botticera. It works just like anything else. It has a file manager. You can download files, transfer files to and from Botticera right here. Now, very quickly, I do wanna show you a couple use cases like downloading a game from, you know, a cloud, a game dump that you own, that you did yourself, you know, a copy of a game that you own, you know, legal. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so in the background right now, I'm just showing you some other features, but here in a second, I'm gonna go in and show you 
me downloading a game, of course it's going to be blurred, but me downloading a game, me transferring it over to Botticera and me starting that game. That's not the only purpose that this add-on has. It's just one of the big ones that I see um, that's going to help a lot of people out. So if you went down and went to the timestamps and saw the TLDR, or you're just at this point in the video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. This is a desktop mode for Botticera. In this specific instance, this is Alpine Linux, and you can do anything in this desktop mode that Alpine Linux can do with the luxury of having the file systems merged in a way to where you can access Botticera from your desktop mode and you can access your desktop modes file system from Botticera. So they're interchangeable. They work together. You can download files, edit files, watch movies, play YouTube, even some of that dirty stuff that you might do when no one's around and no one's looking. So yeah, that's the TLDR. The, you really could have got everything from just this one quick minute of me talking. So very quickly, I'm gonna go in here and download a game from the cloud. This will be blurred. So you can just assume that this is a, my own personal cloud backup. So I'm gonna download a game very quickly. Um, also, quick tip. If I was you, I would, or I would go into the settings, I would go down to downloads, and I would have it always ask you where to save files. That way, if you're downloading different backups that you have from a bunch of different systems, each time it'll ask you where it needs to go, and you can put it in the correct file. Say you're downloading a Wii game, it'll throw it in the Wii folder, etc. I'm gonna download Pokemon really quickly. I'm also gonna show you, hey, since this is a desktop mode, you can just extract your packages instead of um, using other method methods that either you know or that you've seen on my channel. Right here in the desktop, specifically for Alpine, you can add Arc, and it's just a extractor tool. So you'll be able to I'll be able to right click extract my game directly into Botticera with all this one program. So this really just simplifies a lot of the guides that I have for using your Botticera machine without another machine. And this just finally takes it to that last level. So I'm so excited to be bringing this. Also, if you've been watching this long, you might as well like, you might as well comment. Even if you don't like me, just put that down there. I do not like you, Kevo. It's, it's okay. I like you. It's all that matters. So we're really getting towards the end of the video. I'm a little sick. So thanks for dealing with however this audio sounds or however I sound, if I sound down or down and out or whatever, you know, I'm just sick. I've been sick for like two weeks and I've been wanting to make this video, but um, now it's here and you can use it. So if you have any questions, comments or concerns, you can hit me up in the comment section below. Um, in the description, I've got a link to, I've got a bunch of links in the description. So just check it out. But I'll let this continue in the background. In a second here, I'll be showing you that it is indeed working. I was giving this video a final look over and noticed that there was no audio at this moment and point in the video. So I'm using this opportunity to make an experiment. If you hear this, comment cheese in the description and I'm gonna contact you because I'm doing a giveaway. So somebody that comments cheese is gonna win a free Botticera game drive. Future editor Kev here. I decided I was gonna leave some tips in here. One of them being, if you have a machine that isn't the strongest and you turn on or you install this desktop add-on and you find out that when you go to play games or when you go to try to use your Botticera machine that it's a little more sluggish, I'm gonna show you how to change that. So all you've gotta do is go to your Botticera menu, you're gonna go down to system settings and you're gonna go down to the bottom where you see services. And from there, all you've gotta do flip the docker switch off. If you switch that off, it will disable your desktop mode temporarily until you turn it back on. All right, this second tip is how to turn on the volume. Now it's more like a basic function of a desktop, so I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner, but over on the left side of the screen, you might notice this tab. Here are some settings you can change, but for now, if you head up to the top and you click the little volume icon, that turns on the volume. When it's gray outlined, that means that it's on. So right now it's on, now it's off, and now it's back on again. So if it's if it's outlined in gray, then that means that the volume is on. 
So this last tip is for anyone who's using a Botticera machine um, on a machine that maybe doesn't have enough USB ports or whatever to plug in a keyboard and a mouse and all this other stuff or whatever your use case might be, you can access the desktop from any machine. You can access it from your other computer. You can access it from your cell phone. So in this way, you're able to manipulate um, and change around, add, remove, transfer files to your Bodicera machine using your Bodicera machine desktop in another browser. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All you gotta do is go to your Bodicera main menu and go down to network settings. There's your IP address. Make a note of it, cause you're gonna need it. You take that IP address and even in your cell phone, you can type it into the URL. Right now I'm gonna do it on just Windows in Mozilla Firefox. But you type in your IP address and then you type 3000 at the end and it's gonna bring up your Botticera desktop inside of the browser. So here, and as you can see, I'll go into the file manager and show you the ROMs directory. So you can see, I'll go up to home, and there's ROMs. And so this is my Botticera ROMs directory right from my Windows browser, so or iPhone, Android, anything. If it has a browser, you can probably access your Botticera desktop from it. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you got this far in the video, I really appreciate you for watching. Maybe you wanna watch one of these videos. Thanks, I'll catch you in the next one. What's up, one presenters?